hey guys thank you for coming back to the channel i really appreciate it guys i wanted to hop on here real quick and talk to you guys about a few things that i have been seeing um on the news social media youtube things that i have been uh wanting to talk about for the last week or two but i just haven't had time right now i'm sitting down relaxing but i'm cooking so you may end up hearing my little air vent thing they have over the stove you may hear that that's on but guys i want you guys to stay prepared well get prepared and stay prepared for all this bad crazy weather all across the country um, i don't care what area you are staying in or living in be prepared for anything because you never know a lot of states have seen bad weather that they have never gotten before and they don't they 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 have they was not prepared because if you're not used to the kind of weather that they're starting to see now of course you won't be prepared and you will be caught off guard so guys i want to just remind you to make sure you have your bug out bags if you have to get up and leave you and your families make sure you make you a bug out bag or you should already have one somewhere near the door maybe in a corner i won't say in a corner i would say somewhere in the closet or somewhere in your bedroom closet have your um everybody should have a bug out bag in your home with all your items that you important items that you need in there in case you have to get up and you have to leave and you only have a limited a time to get up out the area also guys if the weather is bad but it's not that bad that you have to evacuate in your home make sure you guys have your lanterns your flashlight your batteries generators if you have one and you can afford it make sure you check batteries if you need batteries go out and get some um, I believe Costco's or Sam's Club is having a sale on like three dollars off batteries now um, yeah make sure you have tea lights um oil lamps whatever whatever you feel comfortable with me personally i would say i would say have some of everything because you just never know and plus everyone can't um invest in a generator right now so make sure you have those things make sure you have extra cases of water jugs of water also make sure um, i know the winds have been really strong here it knocked out one of our trees in the back um saturday morning when i got up to go to the store me and one of my friends um she came and picked me up and we went out to um bj's and i look came out and in the back three people cars was off in like the corner the way that um our driveway is in the apartment complex and the big old tree came over the fence and it dropped like right down in front of the car so they were stuck i just pray that they were able to you know to handle that situation and they were able to get out get their cars out but yeah it was a big huge tree the winds have been real bad here a lot of heavy rain and they we have not had the white stuff yet. Yeah, y'all know the white stuff it have not hit yet but um a lot of heavy rain and um real cold real cold and um heavy strong winds that's like i said knocking knocking trees around honey so um just make sure you be prepared have your extra water cases of water check those that out and make sure you have extra comforters blankets you know you want your um head you want um hats gloves socks footies you want those little hand warmer things that i talked about a while back in the video that i have in my emergency kit they have the hand warmer things and they also have some for your feet and those are great just make sure you check and see what you have what you don't have and what you may need and make sure those things are where you can get to them when you need to get to them make sure if you have a I talk to you guys also i showed you guys my weather weather radio make sure you have that always make sure your devices before i go to sleep i make sure my son devices first of all i make sure our devices is nowhere near us but i always have to end up plugging up his phone and setting um on a dresser and i plug up his laptop i plug up um he had these little earbuds me i only plug up just my phone and i plug up his phone laptop and earbuds and stuff so i just make sure everything is charged before we lay down 
and um, just keep your eye out on the weather and you have make sure you have everything that you you know you may need just in case of something end up happening the power go out that you know everything is in place and you need every you know you have everything that you need also guys um guys have you heard i like to watch the the lady that's um she come on a dateline news i forgot her name but i really like her the dateline news i think she got that job either the beginning of the year or last year is it sarah o'brien or something like that guys let me know down in the comment section i hope i'm not pronouncing her name uh, wrong but anyway i like her and i watched the dateline news and she was talking about last week how thirty thousand teachers have quit across the um state across the country and stuff and i said wow i didn't i didn't realize it was that high because like i said i have been staying in contact with some of my son old teachers from high school and i know two of them no three of them retired one of them was going to retire anyway but before this whole little pandemic and another one the two other ones they just took an early retirement and a lot of the younger ones that's coming up in there too a lot of them are not going back I follow one lady that's on YouTube. I'm trying to, is her name? She teach you how to uh, refurbish furniture and she resell them. And she started doing that because she wanted to pay off her student loans. And I believe she did that already, but she just continued on doing it. And she's really good and she's a really good teacher. And I like her um, channel because I wanted to get into something like that too, but just small furniture. Also guys, um, I think she is the uh, flipping teacher. I love her. She was um, a kindergarten teacher, and I don't think she went back. I think she's doing the flipping and her YouTube channel like full time. I know she she used to be a teacher, and she didn't go back. And I know a lot of teachers is like this, but I didn't realize it was that much. But y'all should know why. It's probably because of the mandate, and people just don't want to be forced. So anyway, but yeah, I didn't know the number was up so high. But she was talking about how thirty thousand teachers was just quitting and she was saying how some of the schools um the principals are in the classrooms teaching the kids and i was like oh wow and they said they're looking for teachers also um a lot of doctors nurses surgeons and stuff like that have left the hospital as well guys so it's still um pr pretty bad out here and i know they was just saying something about here where i'm at i know a lot of parents have decided to go because they give us a choice still. A lot of parents decide to do homeschool or just go virtual, you know, and not send their kids back. So I just thought that that was kind of crazy because I didn't realize that the numbers were so high with a lot of the teachers quitting like that, you know, 30,000 teachers. And I was like, wow. But yeah, guys, it's crazy. Also, guys, um, make sure you keep your eyes on your food when you out shopping at the grocery stores i don't care what grocery store you at your local grocery store the big box stores make sure you're checking your dates make sure you're checking your packages your containers everything you want to get the best quality food for you and your family as possible because a lot of those um that food and stuff is coming off the shipping dock slowly but surely and they're going to be trying to sell that stuff guys so just be real careful i don't know about y'all's store y'all let me know down in the comment section but for the last three or four weeks a lot of these I know some of the big box stores where well, I'm going to say, cause I haven't been to Sam's club and I have been, haven't been to, um, Costco's, but I went to BJ's and I never seen BJ's like this before. They, I mean, they, they have fresh produce. Don't get me wrong, but some of the produce was look, looking really bad. And also in my local two of my local grocery stores, some of the produce was looking really bad. So yeah, guys, um, you can barely even get fresh produce because some of that produce is looking real bad. And I'm the type of person, I don't get anything if the, if I'm not comfortable with the date, or it look, it's looking real bad, or it's dent, open, bent, and all that stuff, mm -mm, I'll leave it in the store. But, yeah, it's hard to find fresh, like, um, onions. And, yeah, they got a recall on onions, so y'all be careful with that. But, hey, what can you do? You pray over your food and keep it keep it moving. What can you really do? But Because it's a recall every time you turn around about everything. But, yeah, it's a recall on onions. But, yeah, um, onions looking bad, potatoes looking bad, um cabbage lettuce I, the bag of lettuce be careful with those I, I try not to get too much of those no more because i don't like it when it's sweating in the inside of those bags so if it's i can't get a fresh pack i leave it in the store um lemons i was surprised i had to go through me and this lady had to go through a lot of lemons to get fresh lemons and a lot of the lemons was bad it's just different types of produce oh yeah the carrots i needed carrots this time around some of the carrots was kind of bad and like um like liquidy like real 
like watery in the inside so yeah just be careful check your dates check your products and be real careful with that because like i said slowly but surely a lot of the stuff is coming off those shipping um containers and they're going to be trying to sell everything so just be real cautious of what you're picking up and what you're buying also guys i want to talk to you guys and this is a very 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 serious topic guys do you know crime is up across the state everywhere crime is up guys and i'm not saying this to scare anyone i'm saying this because i want you all to be cautious especially my ladies out here my young ladies my elderlies and even young children i want you guys to be cautious out here for one please don't let your kids walk to the bus stop and go to the store and things like that alone if they're not of an adult age please monitor your kids and take your kids to school to store whatever you need to do or if they have to be at a bus stop make sure you sitting in your cars i remember when i used to take my son the school was right down the street i walked him every morning um some some parents used to let the kids stand outside and you know they'll watch it from the car guys just don't pull off and just leave your kids or just have your kids walking to the bus stop by themselves have somebody you can depend on if you can't do it to stand with your children until the bus come it's bad it's bad and dangerous out here guys um people are snatching up kids left and right young ladies left and right and you just have to be real cautious but what i want to tell you guys the crime rate is up so high that did you know that when i went out this past saturday i didn't even know until late saturday when i went into one of my private groups um it's a crime rights group that i'm um, a part of in my community and they was telling me it was three young teenagers got killed in just my area over the weekend saturday three one was 13 and one was 16 and i don't know the age of the other one but three one was a drive-by he was 13 and i heard that his mother this is her third son yeah can you imagine that guys this is her third son that got killed third and this was the youngest one poor baby may I, my heart and prayers goes out to the family but yeah he got gunned down they're looking for this car van whatever and um another young man he was 16 they said he was found dead in his house i don't know what happened then i don't have all the details for a third but guys it shook me up I, i'm i'm in the suburbs and like i keep on trying to tell y'all when i sit down and have these talks with you guys the suburbs it's not the suburbs like it used to be and some of y'all should understand what i'm saying some of it and i'm in a pretty nice decent area but what i'm saying you ha you i have been seeing the changes for the last 15 20 years and things for the last two years then got worse you not worse but it just started to keep on declining so the suburbs is really not what it used to be anymore and it's, it, it just across the country i don't care if you're in the suburbs or you in the inner city it's just all real bad across the state guys please try to keep monitor your kids grandkids or who adopt the kids whatever kids you um are in charge of and you're raising and taking care of monitor your kids know what they're watching know what they're listening to know what they're in your, who they interacting with on the internet what they are into have they moved change or anything like that make sure you know where they at at all times my son 19 years old i still know he at at all times because he on a break now he's at, he's at work and when he leave from work he come right home my son's not a street person he never have been he, he's a homebody you know like me he'll go hang out with some of his friends from high school he still got sometimes maybe they'll go to the mall or maybe they go to one of them houses with their parents still there he stay a couple of hours and come back but for the most part my son is just school and work school and work and back home and no and he's 19 but know where your kids is at at all times guys know what they're doing and what they're into and please pay attention to who they hanging out with okay if they move have change something ain't right sit down and talk to them like 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 i really my thing that i started with my son ever since he was like three four years old to this day he's 19 like i said to this day i still enjoy my time with him on movie nights sometimes we may be exhausted we can't have it on a friday we have it on a saturday but the days that he have off we make sure we have time for each other and we just talk we'll watch movies you know we'll whatever's going on with him i'm just there to listen and interact and just be there have a dinner night 
moving night, whatever you can think of, interact with your children still. Don't just say, oh, they're 18, 19, and all this now. Still have that time set aside and spend time with your children. Know what they're doing, what they're going through, and and, 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 and if anything's bothering them. It's, 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 I mean, every time I turn on the TV or social media, somebody's child and got murdered. Somebody's child just got murdered standing at the bus stop, 14 years old, waiting on the bus. This a drive-by shooting, he got shot 18 times. My God, Jesus Christ, 18 times. What could have this person, this young man ha had did or said to make you this angry and he got shot 18 times? My heart and prayers goes out to the family. It really does. And also, I was looking, Um, I heard, I was watching the other day that all these little angels... All of my angels in my, in my book. I'm not here to judge nobody. I don't know nothing about nobody's life. And, I, and I'm not trying to be in nobody's business. But what I'm saying, all these little ones, I done seen a 6-year-old and got by, by a bullet and got shot. 10-year-old, 11-year-old, then you, the youngest one I think was 5. All these innocent babies is getting killed. They can't even play outside because the parents is so afraid of them getting killed and guys this is not just la chicago new york this is like everywhere you can think of it's it's going on it's it's crazy like, like even my area it's crazy how things have got out of control and i'm and i'm saying to myself well where are these where are these kids parents at where are these kids parents at it's the only thing i can think of but i don't know what's going on guys but when i tell you guys the spiritual warfare is real spiritual warfare is real okay pray over you and your family pray over your children before they leave pray oh y'all pray before you lay down go to sleep pray in the morning pray before you leave your house plead the blood of jesus to make sure you and your family get to where y'all need to get to safe and back home safe it's so bad out here guys you have to pray and make sure you monitor your kids and know what they're doing at all times it's just horrible a lot of these people have been getting shot and just innocent innocent people innocent people you've seen a lot of drive-bys happening again and not only that guys you've seen a, a lot of carjackings is back up again too people still in folks cars and guys i noticed that they not just doing all the crime just at night and in the evening no more a lot of these crimes and horrible murders are start is is happening during the daytime too guys i just don't know what is going on I don't know what's going on, but it is bad, guys. You have to pray. You guys, I don't know. You just have to pray. You do the best that you can. We, are, A lot of us is just trying to do the best that we can. Raise our children, spend time with our family. we just trying to be decent, good human beings. But, guys, you have to pray and get back to God because I don't see a lot of this stuff that's going on now, not with just the virus. I don't see none of this stuff stopping no time soon. Okay, guys? I don't I don't see it stopping no time soon. And another thing, and like I said, my heart and prayers go out to any family member that's dealing with tragedy like this and you lost a loved one. My heart and prayers goes out to you guys and I pray that God wrap you around their arm his arms and be there for you guys. But guys, it's real bad out here. It is. It's real bad. It is so bad out here. I don't know what's going on, guys. But I just feel so sorry for the young people that's losing their lives to to gun violence. Losing their lives to gun violence. And parents have to, um, parents, I'm moving my chair around, guys. And I was plugging up my phone because it was saying low battery, which is crazy because I just charged it probably about 35 minutes ago. But guys... My heart and prayers just goes out because it's just so horrible. It's so horrible. But yeah, guys, another thing, too, I want to talk to, and I know some of y'all may get upset and have something smart to say or negative, but trust me when I say this, this is coming from a, this is coming from a good place. This is coming from the bottom of my heart. This is coming from concerns, and I just want you guys to be safe out here when you have to go places. Guys, people are walking behind ladies into their homes they're trying to break into their homes they're um they're approaching women with their babies out in the stroller walking or running they are walking behind them when they get ready to come in the house um they're following them to their cars when they leave grocery stores guys it's so much of craziness going on what i'm gonna need for y'all to do especially my ladies i see this too much 
I was raised, me and my siblings was raised to be cautious at all times and always pay attention to your surroundings and look around. Guys, I do not see a lot of y'all doing this. Y'all is not paying attention to your surroundings. Guys, I listen, I don't care where you live at. The so-called good old days, some of y'all talk about the good old days and the good old-fashioned days is gone. It's over. It ain't coming back. Okay? You have to protect yourself and your children and your loved ones or whoever with you. When you, Especially the, one, the young ladies, if you're out by yourself. For one, y'all need to stop going out late at night. If you don't have to go to the store late at night, you need to stop going late at night. If you do go late at night, make sure you have someone with you. Make sure you let somebody know where you're going, when you're coming back. And be very rare in your surroundings. Always have something on you to protect yourself. Okay? What y'all need to do, turn your phones off. Stop being on social media, walking with your head down, or walking with your head just straight up. Stop fixing your makeup, fixing your hair. You should be doing all that before you leave the house or either before you get out your car. Fix your makeup, hair, clothes, whatever you're going to do. But what I'm trying to say, you guys are too distracted. And I see, I see this because I'm, I'm looking around and I, like I said, we was raised from a very early age. I am, I have always been very cautious and I'm looking around because I don't trust nothing breathing. I have had, we talked about this a little bit, but I had, I have had trust issues all my life. Okay. I'm a people person. I love people, but I don't trust folks all like that. What I'm trying to tell you ladies, you are too distracted with Either on digging in your purse, putting on makeup, messing with your hair, your clothes, you're on the phone, head down, head up. And nobody ain't just moving their head around and just looking from the left, right, front, back. Guys, another thing that I have noticed that when I go into the store and when I come, well, first of all, I'm never by myself when I go to the grocery stores. And me and my family, we don't play that. We go to the grocery store with with each other. It's at least one other person with me, if not two. Usually it's me and my son, or it's me, my son, and my sister, or me, my mom, or my sister, or me and my me and two of my sisters, or me and a friend, or something like that. I'm never by myself. And when if and I and if I went somebody, they drop me off and they make sure help me with my bags and they make sure I get in safely. And then they leave and then I make sure that they get you know check on them, make sure they got there safely. But we're never by ourselves when we go grocery shopping. You have to be careful when you leaving out your cars to look around too before you get out your car. You have to pay, because I have seen a lot of people sitting in their cars uh, when I get out the car or either when I come back, come out the grocery store getting ready to load my stuff in. Uh, or we always look around too before we open up the trunk and start loading our stuff in. I see a lot of people sitting in their cars. Now, I'm not trying to say people, is, everybody is up to no good. What could because a lot of people, a lot of people take their grandparents, parents, um, disabled relatives to the store, maybe their children, or maybe they just, you know, a lot of guys too, you know, a lot of them like to sit in the car and wait until the, you know, until the women get finished shopping. Because a lot of guys don't like, don't like to be in the store too long or they just don't like shopping. But I have noticed a lot of people sitting in their cars. And I'm not saying they, they, try, they have no bad intentions. But what I'm saying, you have to be cautious because you don't know. You don't know who may try you. When you before you get to the store, or either when you come out the store, you don't know. This is why it's very. Cause see, I I see I see things. I see them sitting in, in cars before they see me. I see stuff before the stuff see me because I'm always looking. I don't care if I can be having a conversation with a person that I'm with. I'm always pushing my buggy and I'm looking. I'm looking left, right, front, back, side, and, and that's just me. And before I get out the car. My my phone, that's why I don't film for you guys no more because not only the stores is crowded, especially around the holidays, everywhere is crowded. Everybody is out. So I don't film because I want to get in the store and I want to get what I need and come out and I'd rather just come and film and show you guys what I have in the comfort of my own home. But going to these stores, malls and all this and be trying to um, do all this, um, you know, do all this recording. Don't get me wrong. If it's not too crazy and busy and chaotic, yes, I do. Um you know, whip out my phone every, every now and then, but 
I would rather for to show you guys and talk to you guys about what I got, what I purchased, what it was like at the store and all that when I'm in the comfort of my own home. Doing all that, trying to be aware of your surroundings and trying to film. I put my phone in my purse. I don't answer my phone. I don't even look at my phone till I get back in the car safely. And if somebody called me or text me, that's when I return a call or text. If Now, sometimes I have been at the store and I may forget what my son may ask for a particular something. Now, I make sure I get in the store, I put my back against something, I look around, and then I call or text him. But usually my phone is just in my purse. And you have to always just be aware of your surroundings because you just never know what people have on their minds. People are paying attention to what you're doing in the store. They're paying attention to what you're doing at the store. They're paying attention going back to your cars. It's the holiday. Crime crime, crime, and, and, and robbery and all that is, is really up. Not with just the pandemic. People ain't working. A lot of people still ain't working. And um, everything that's going on. But around the holidays, this is when people is looking for easy targets. And a lot of you ladies are easy targets. I'm telling you. From one woman to the next, you are easy targets. Because you guys is not paying attention. And I see it. And also, what in the world is on y'all mind to let y'all kids just run out the car and just run into the stores by themselves? These little kids, or either the kids that's in the stores, they run, they, 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 they down these, they down, you want, you down one aisle and they down another aisle. What's wrong with y'all? Do you know that people are snatching up kids left and right and just, they're bold out here now. They snatching up kids left and right and leaving right on out the store and in the malls and stuff with them. Google this or either go on go on go on Facebook, YouTube, or either just Google it. But for the last couple of years, Walmart, and I'm not saying Walmart had nothing to do with anything. This is this is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, a lot of people have posted about their experience in Walmart, how they have been people have been following them. And how even a one one woman even had a guy um lure her damn child out, out to the damn car. Why she looking at shoes and then lure the little girl on out. Your kids is on one aisle or one end of the store and you on the other end. These little kids, my mother did not play that. And my mother got, my mother has several kids and she did not play that. We was in the front of her. She was in the back. Whatever aisle she tell us turn down, we had to turn down. We was not able to, oh, mama, can I go over to the game and or can I go to the toys and can I? No. When she got finished with her grocery shopping, she'll let us look. Or either sometimes she'll let us look at the toys and different stuff before she shopped. But usually she'll she'll do her shopping, then she'll let us look, and then we go check out. Mom, we was not allowed to run around, and I did the same thing to my for my son. He's nineteen now, but my son, no, even when he's because y'all know how babies and ki little kids are. They like to just run. They're innocent. They like to run and go down aisles and pick up stuff, put it in the car, and all that. You cannot let your kids be your precious babies run off by themselves. I was in the store one day. And it was a couple months back. I was in the store. It was just a, a one or two months ago. And I was in the store. You had customers, the managers, the employees, all that customer service trying to find. To me, they looked like they was four years old and six years old trying to find their parents. The parents are somewhere in the store and a four and a six-year-old just roaming around in the store. How is a four and a six-year-old going to be able to protect themselves from, from any craziness out here? Any pervs or any craziness people out here? Anybody can walk up to your child and say, oh, you know, this is my child. They just acting up. My son was not able to do that. He was either always in the cart or he was in his um, stroller when he was able to walk. And he was because he was a busy child. He was a good child, but just real busy. He was either in his stroller or in the cart. He was not able to run around in no store. Because I was I was not raised like that and I didn't play that either. I mean, I don't understand. How do you let your whole human, a whole little human, just get get away from you and go down another aisle? I would suggest to try to keep them at home with someone safe to watch them until you get back from the grocery store or have someone with you so they can watch them while you do shopping. Because we got to do better out here, guys. It's, it's, it's too much going on out here, okay? It's too much going on out here. You have to do better. So like I said, you know, I, I I just be seeing some crazy I just be seeing some crazy stuff. But yeah, Walmart, like I said, I'm not blaming nothing on Walmart. It's just a lot of these incidents where people have been tweeting from Twitter and people have been posting their stories on Instagram, Facebook, and all this. 
that they have been getting approached by people they have been getting approached by people that's um that's lurking around in Walmart. And this incident, they just had an incident. Um I forgot her name, but she, but she's real popular on Instagram. But this one popular lady, she was in, she 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 was um her last name is Patterson. I can't think of her first name to save my life, but she she posted about this about three months ago. Her she was in the store where I think her niece, her young niece, about fifteen sixteen, and some guy was trying to lure her niece off, and and they and and her and whoever she was with, they they grabbed him and kind of like held him there until the police got here. And then come to find out. He was known for luring, luring young girls out the stores. So y'all better be careful out here because y'all parents is doing too, y'all ladies is doing too much, not paying attention. And I want you guys to pay attention so you can be safe, okay? Around the holiday and just now in this day and time in general, it's dangerous out here. It's dangerous. And I would not suggest nobody to be at no store late at night by themselves. And I wouldn't even suggest going to going nowhere by yourself or like that. If you do have to go somewhere by yourself, I don't listen. My behind is in my 40s and I still let my mom, sister, son, I let people know where I'm at and where I'm going and when I'm coming back. The only time I really by myself, to be honest with you, is when when I um I used to go every two weeks, but I go once a month when I can. I go once a month when I can. Only time I'm by myself. Don't get over my food. Don't get over my food. I'm sorry about that, guys. Talking to my son, but yeah, the only time I'm by myself, guys, is when I'm at the nail shop, and I go. I used to go every two weeks, but I go once a month when I can get there, but. It's literally right around the corner, and then I let my son, my mom, sisters, I let we, I let them all know where I'm at, when I'm coming back, because they know it. They know that particular nail shop that I go to. That's the only one I've been going to for years. But yeah, guys, that's the only time I'm really by myself. When I'm out doing anything like any kind of shopping, and we traveling or whatever it is, and then I, I can say another thing. Um, I'm at the doctor's office. Um, you know when I go to my doctor's appointments. But other than that. When I'm out shopping or sightseeing or we go to the movies, out to eat anything, I'm not by myself. I'm not by myself. And even if I was by myself, I always make sure I have some type of protection on me to protect myself. But yeah, ladies, I want you guys to learn to pay attention. Stop having your heads all down. Stop having your heads all up in the air. Stop being on this phone laughing, giggling, talk, talking, laughing, giggling, and talking, and, and texting, and fixing your clothes, fixing your makeup, and hearing all this stuff. You got to pay attention, and please write your babies. Don't let your babies run all over the store by themselves. My son is a young man. When we go in the store now, of course he go his own way and do what he going to do, but he tell me, Ma, I'm going over here. Uh, Ma, I'm going over there. Um, and you know, so we can know what we each other at if we have to look, because I'm going to tell you like this real quick and I'm going to go to my last subject. Listen, what if a fire break out? What if a fight break out, shooting break out, robbery, your kids is over here. You allow them to go with a toys to set or electronics or whatever. And you over here in the grocery section or even in the, in, in, in the personal hygiene said, if something end up breaking out in that stores, you guys are going to shit bricks because you're not going to know where your child is at. These young kids are too young to be roaming the store by themselves. Watch your precious babies. Watch your precious boys, your precious girls. Watch your children, guys. Okay? And be cautious. And pay attention and get off that damn phone. Stop checking your makeup and your hair. Walking with your head all down. Stop being digging all in y'all purses and stuff. You should be organized and have yourself together before you leave the house. And and, and, and and don't get me wrong. For some people I know, for some people I know it's, kind of, it's, it's just a little hard for them to, to be cautious all the time. I was raised like this. It's, it's embedded in my DNA and it's embedded in my brain ever since I was little that I'm just a very cautious person and like to be very aware of my surroundings. So you have to tell yourself every time you get ready and leave and go somewhere, you have to say, you know, pay attention, watch your surroundings. If something looks suspicious, listen, trust your gut. Trust your gut. Trust that first mind that if you think something, you heard something or see something that ain't right, trust it. 
and just tell yourself, I have to be cautious. I have to just pay attention a little bit more and just be cautious before, you know, when I'm going into the store, get out, look around, be careful who you parking next to. Be careful when you come back out the store, who parked, who parked um, to, next to you. If people standing on the outside of, the, of, of, of their so-called car, because some people can play it off. It may not be their car and they post up against it, maybe smoking or talking. Be cautious when somebody is out around your car. Or who have parked next to you, who's sitting in their car. Just if you're paying attention, you should notice all these things, guys. You should just notice things. And just talk to yourself. And it's nothing wrong with talking to yourself in your brain. And just be, just give yourself a little pep talk and say, hey, we going out to such and such today. Make sure you just stay cautious. Get off the phone. Return your phone calls or text messages when you get back in the car safely. Always check around before you open up your car door so your car... Um, trunks and stuff you know and just give yourself a little pep talk and be careful and trust me guys you guys look great you left the house looking great you look great you don't have to worry about constantly checking your hair and your makeup and all that you look fine go do what you're gonna do and get back home to your families because the, the what i tell myself when i go when i was by my going different places by myself and i was doing my couponing heavily and every week i would go to like two three i would at least go to three different stores with my coupon and i would be organizing everything i always tell my say my prayers before i leave and everything say my prayers when i come back and i always tell myself i said well the, the main thing that was on my mind when i leave period even to this day i just want to get to where i'm going safely and get back home safely to my son so have a prep prep talk with yourself and make sure you just be real cautious guys okay because people will try to try you especially around this time of year and just in this day and time period just be cautious of folks and also my last thing i want to talk about real quick guys ladies that's another thing it's very important to be cautious i watched a video on youtube last week where a lady this is a nice neighborhood very nice neighborhood i don't know what these guys was doing in that neighborhood unless they was visiting someone and they decided to do some sinister act or was they just roaming around in the neighborhood but this had to be this is a nice neighborhood the lady was saying the lady was coming back from running with her young baby in the um stroller and she was she put the little cold in her gate and she was she was trying to get into the gate and guys it irritated me so bad because i didn't know what was going to happen but the gate was opening up too slow for me Soon when the gate opened up, she went into the gate, and then she, 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 you know, I guess the gate closed back, but the gate was closing back up too slow for me. Guys, before the, day, the gate can even close, or she can get through the gate, or whatever, these two young men then walk up to her. Thank God they didn't force her into the house, because I don't even want to think about it. Thank God they didn't force her into her house. But they took her, I think it was like her baby bag, or wallet, or it's like a baby bag, and something else she had they robbed her and i was just so irritated by it because for one the gate irritated me would the, the crime irritate me because no one should be robbing and stealing people that's just me stealing from people you know robbing people this woman had her young baby with her but the gate was opening up too slow for me and open and closing back too slow for me if the gate was the kind of gate that it was open up quickly and she can close it back quickly she probably wouldn't have had to go through that terrifying experience. But I'm just glad that they didn't try to force her in the house and nothing else happened. She didn't fight. She was real calm and she just gave them whatever. But I'm hoping it wasn't nothing really important that was inside of um, the baby bag. But anyway, even if it was, it's not worth you and your child's life. Okay? So it just, me personally, I would have, I said to myself, thank God she's okay in the baby. But me, the neighborhood looked very nice. You understand what I'm saying? Very nicer than where I'm at. And the gate, I would have that gate changed. I, it's no way I would keep that gate. That gate was opening up too. It was just, the gate just irritated me is what I'm trying to say. The, the robbery irritated me and made me angry. But the gate, if she, if she was just could have got through that gate and closed it back quickly, it was the kind of gate that it looks like a, when you press the button, it just opened up like real slow and then closed back. Before it can even close back, they they stepped in and just robbed the lady and then ran off. But thank God her and her baby is okay. You got to be cautious when you come at home, getting out your car, going into your car. You just never know who's lurking around, guys. And then another thing, I just watched a video last week too, the end of last week. 
why this one lady and i don't understand how she did not realize somebody was behind her guys maybe it's just me i'm always looking around and plus i can feel if somebody's behind me but this lady she had to work for the city because she had on like y'all tell me it can be any anywhere you can be working for the city because i see all type of people with those yellow vests on with the little orange going down in anyway the lady was going home the lady was walking literally in her house why this man walk straight up behind her you would think they was together soon when she got up in there and the man walked behind her next thing i know the camera caught caught two young men's come out threw, threw him out and two young big tall healthy guys came out i said thank you lord jesus christ that jesus had to be watching over her the spirit guys the angels everybody was on her side that day because what if the, the guy was walking behind her and walked up behind her in the house like he lived there what if nobody wasn't there what if those, I don't know if the, if the two young men, one was her husband or her son or two sons or a cousin and a nephew. I don't know who the two young men was, but I was so glad my heart was beating. I was so glad that those two young men was there. One of the young men, I, I, I started laughing, but one of the young men was tall, fully dressed. He threw him over back. He, he punched them back outside and threw him over the gate. And that's what he get because I'm not no violent person. But he's going to think twice when he follows somebody else home. That one guy throw him, punched him out the house, threw him over the gate, and then another guy came out with just his underwear, <laughs> just his underwear, some red underwear on, and he, and he kicked his butt. Listen, like I said, I'm not promoting violence. I'm not laughing because he got beat up, but he better be glad he only got kicked and thrown over a gate and been punched a couple of times because... Folks are bold, guys. I keep trying to tell you, they are real bold out here. I can't believe that you will walk up behind someone going into their house like you live there. And if it wasn't for those two young men, I don't know who they were to her. But if it wasn't for those two young men, guys, no, I don't even want to think about what would have happened to her. I just don't understand how she didn't look around. I would have looked around several times and could have and spot him. Or either I could have felt somebody up on, you know like behind me i don't know that's just me but i'm just glad that god was on her side that day her spirit guys angels it, honey i'm telling you because it, i don't want, want to want to think about what would have happened if those two young men two tall big healthy young men was um already in the house and he got what he got and, and, and like I said, I'm no promote violence and I'm not all happy because they got, he got beat up, thrown on the gate, but that's what his butt get. Because like I said, you would think he would think, hopefully he would think twice, three times before he follows somebody else home because it could have been a real nasty, ugly situation. He better be glad he got punched out the door and thrown over the gate and, and just hit and kick a couple of times because somebody, some people would have kept him up in that house and did whatever you know, and then call the cops or either it just could have been worse, guys. You guys have to pay attention and be vigilant because I don't understand how she didn't notice someone was following her. Not blaming her, but I'm just telling you how bold folks are out here. And it's happening in daylight, early, like early time, evening, night. It seemed like more stuff happening during the day than ever. So, yeah, ladies, like I said, I know I got kind of my voice went up, got kind of excited, but I just want you guys to really take what i'm saying in consideration be prepared for any type of crazy storms may happen with this weather be prepared um keep prepping and praying doing the best that you can be cautious be cautious be cautious be very aware of your surroundings um if you have to go out please try to get someone to go with you or try to go out during the daylight or evening before it get dark. Listen, where I'm at, it gets it start. It, it's it's pitch black dark at five o'clock, and I hate it. I hate it. But like I said, I don't usually go nowhere unless I'm with sisters, cousins, friends, sons, something like that. So I just want you guys to take in consideration what I'm saying to be very cautious and vigilant out here and take care of yourself. Watch your babies. Don't let them run off by themselves. And um you know just take care of yourself guys just be very vigilant it's too much happening and going on out here okay guys i didn't mean for this video to be so long if you're still here i really appreciate it um thank you so much for listening but i'm telling you it's coming from my heart 
that I want you guys to just be safe out there and do the best that you can. And um, watch your babies, okay? Now, I'm going to get up out of here. I got to go check on my food. I will talk to you guys in the next video or on my community tab. I will show you guys what I'm cooking um, when I get done because sometimes I post what I'm cooking on my community tab. So you guys stay safe. I love you all. Thank you for clicking on to the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share if you think this is a good quality video. If you think the message was good, because like I said, it's, it was on my heart and on my spirit. And it's coming from a good place, okay guys? So I'm going to get up out of here and I will talk to you guys later, okay? It's bye for now. Love you.